A Scottish theatre company will hold a meeting tonight to decide whether to dissolve the company after being refused funding by Creative Scotland. Inverness-based Dogstar, whose work has toured Ukraine, Iran and Australia, as well as Scotland, say the decision is baffling, and they're not alone, as their arts correspondent Polly McLean reports. We were cut off and gathered to the certain points and in the cattle truck and away to Russia. Which we went to the tailor of Inverness is based on the true story of Matthew Zajak's father, who settled in Scotland after the Second World War. It's probably the most successful production Matthew's company Dogstar have staged, touring Scotland four times, as well as performing in Tehran and New York. But tonight, he and his co-director Hamish MacDonald will hold a meeting in which they'll decide whether to dissolve the company. They say being refused three-year funding for the third time in their 15-year history was the final straw. When we take a play to look in Ver Village Hall, that is not a commercial proposition. It requires some form of subsidy. For us to create the productions in the first place with new plays, which are not commercial propositions, you need some kind of subsidy. <laughs> And they're not alone. Around 100 companies and organisations have their funding applications turned down. There were twice as many applications than funds available from the £100 million pot. And that was with an extra £10 million of lottery funds. Among the most high-profile groups to be refused funding was the Scottish Youth Theatre. They're currently in talks about alternative ways of funding the organisation, but their patron, Blythe Duff, says all of the arts must lobby for greater support. I think Creative Scotland do have a difficult job and how best do they divvy up the money? But maybe they should be given a wee bit more to kind of back that. We're in difficult times and everybody knows they're having to fight their corner. But I think when it comes to a youth organisation, you know, we shouldn't really have to fight too hard to actually say, well, we should be encouraging our, our young people that this is something they should be going into. <laughs> Creative Scotland says talks are ongoing with a number of organisations, including Scottish Youth Theatre, and it couldn't discuss the details. But speaking at the time of the funding announcement two weeks ago, Chief Executive Janet Archer said she was keen to speak to organisations and help them find alternative funds. Culture has devolved to the Scottish Government. Our budgets are pretty stable um, compared to budgets elsewhere. While there's a lot more that we could do, I think our relationship with artists is absolutely I think it's really important for us to keep that alive and, and I welcome feedback so I'd like to talk to anyone who wants to talk to me directly not just read on things on social media. We knew that train is passing such and such a time that village. Passenger train on... And while Dogstar also have talks pencilled, they're not optimistic about a future beyond the shows they have scheduled. Matthew Zajak again. I just feel that we're being taken for granted, that the work's maybe not valued. I, I do wonder whether they actually, the, the administrators at Creative Scotland are that concerned about whether our company continues or not. And you go smaller and smaller circle. And smaller circle and then... There we are. Polly McLean reporting.